All right, guys, do I have a really special, special knife to talk about today? And I hope I'm going to get most of the information correct because it's kind of a, uh, well, it's not kind of, it is, it's a collaboration between, it's kind of a melding of Robert Carter, Frank Fisher, and Todd Fisher Sr., so this was just made by Todd Fisher Sr. as a prototype before he made a similar knife. Well, he made the same knife for a Robert Carter customer. And as fancy as this one is, lots of damascus steel, lots, lots of Timascus, like this is no slouch, right? The other one, is even fancier. And in a minute, I'll put some pictures of the other one because I don't have that one. But I kind of borrowed some images from uh, Todd Sr. The other one has some steel that Robert Carter made. It has some meteorite bolsters and has mammoth ivory scales. So before Sr., messed with those exotic materials. He made this one out of these exotic materials just to make sure he had the, the process down, if you will. Okay, so this is called the Warhawk. Now, it looks very similar to the Frank Fisher Fury, right? There are some distinct similarities. There are some differences, Okay, basically the, the, the handles are slightly different. The Warhawk is a blend of Robert Carter's Warbird handle and Frank Fisher's Fury blade. So there is a Warbird, and I'm going to put an image of the Warbird up here now. And I got to tell you, I, <laughs> if this was just slightly bigger... I might be talking to Robert about making me a, a Warbird because I think the blade on this thing is amazing. Okay, so you take the Warbird, pop the blade out, and put the Fury blade in, and you get the War Hawk. Okay? That's where this came from. And because Robert Carter and the Fisher family are really family long, lifelong friends, all of that good stuff, worked well together over the years and years, decades. Um, Robert asked Senior to put together this one for him, for a customer. Okay? The, the mammoth meteorite one, which we'll have pictures of that here. All right? Hopefully I get those inserted in the right spots. Um, <clears throat> so, to make sure that Senior had the process down. He built this one instead. This one I am honored to film and I'm honored that it's going to my buddy Anthony because that means it's in the family and there's a chance maybe in the future I would want to buy it and he would want to sell it. I love prototypes. Here is my prototype battle that Senior made for me. Well, he made for an auction. I won the auction and there you go. So he is not scared to use exotic materials in prototypes. However, years back, he made this Challenger prototype out of just basic material. So, yeah, Senior is a master magician of making wonderful knives. All right, so let's talk about some of the specs on this guy. We are four and a quarter closed, seven and three eighths overall with a 3.1 five inch blade. Now, when I, before I bought my Fury, I thought it was going to be too small and it really kind of is. Um, but I did a video on this one, Luck Knives decided to sell it and I decided to buy it because I really kind of needed one. Um, even though I don't really carry it much, but it's pretty awesome. I just wish it was bigger. If it was like a three and a quarter, three and a half inch blade, be bad ass. Okay. Dam of steel, runs on bearings, you know, blah, blah, all that good stuff. So let's zoom in here 
and just show you this amazing Damasteel, Damasteel bolsters, Damascus inlays, Damascus pivots. I just amazing. Look at the detail in that backspacer. Love how you can see the colors. It's raised up a little bit so that it gives you some grip and it just looks amazing. Beautiful liners. Pocket clip works amazingly well. It looks like it doesn't hold, but it does. It's just perfect on the grip in your pocket. The clip kind of like, I, I don't know. Maybe a Damasteel clip would have been badass. I don't know. It really disappears. I, I don't necessarily want my clip to stand out, but I don't necessarily want it to disappear like this one maybe. That's totally a personal personal preference. I think this is amazing. I think that Anthony is really going to love it. The detent is a little bit lighter for, again, my preference. But you also have to remember, this was the what Todd Sr. calls the testing knife. That's the prototype that he did. He hadn't built this. Um, this model has been around for a while between Frank and Robert, but was the first time for Sr. to make one. So he wanted to make sure that it was right. I think it's a super cool knife. I'm honored to film it. Um, it is very, very similar to the Fury, but yeah, there you go. All right, so up in the corner, I'm going to put a link to my Todd Senior playlist. Please go check it out. I've done. I've been really fortunate, really honored to do a lot of the Fisher family of knives, and I've ended up owning a lot of them now. These two are going to Anthony. This one is staying in my collection for now. You never know. Um, but I have been able to film a lot. And so I'm really honored and grateful that friends have loaned me their fishers to film. All right, go check them out. I appreciate you guys. If I mess something up, I'm sure Robert or Senior will chime in. And there you have it. Have a great day, guys.